Welcome to the second episode of Brand Explaining Random Things About the Law. Um, last time I explained about felony murder, I realized I haven't made a video about mens rea. And I thought if I'm making videos that can be watched by people, I may as well explain what mens rea is because that's an ex important element in the law. Element. Hope you like that. So, to start off, before I go over the levels of mens rea, what is mens rea? Um, I'll bring back an example I used in the last video. Mens rea is the intent or the knowingness of the crime. It's very important to see if somebody's actually guilty of the crime. Here's an easy example. I have this water bottle from Quinnipiac. Woot woot. Okay. It's my water bottle. Let's pretend it was your water bottle. But I thought it was my water bottle. If I picked that up and walked out, I'm not guilty of robbery. Because I don't have the right knowledge, the right intent, the right mens rea, right? Now, if I knew this was your bo water bottle, and I knowingly picked that up, tucked it away, and stole it, now I'm guilty of robbery. So that's the basic idea of mens rea. I'll go over these four, these four mens rea components. So first, you have purposely. Sticky with our water bottle example, if that's, I know that's your water bottle, and I purposely take it, knowing that it's yours, and I'm like, nah. I'm taking this. Bye. Now, purposely, it implies a little bit of malicious intent. Knowingly is, I know that it's your water bottle, despite that I'm going to take it. So, I may not be thinking, ooh, I'm going to break the law, woot woot, but I'm knowingly doing it. Recklessly is, I may have a blue water bottle, and you have this one with a Q on it. I'm reckless when I take the water bottle because I should know better. When I see the cue, I have reason to know better, but I do it anyway. And to say that both of our water bottles were right, right next to each other, I should have figured it. Negligently is the lowest one. So that's, you know, they're very similar um, and it's an honest mistake. I just mistake the two and I'm like, oh. I'll just take this one, I bet it's mine, and I walk out. I'm being negligent because I didn't do everything I should have done to check. But I'm still negligent. I still took your water bottle. The important thing is certain crimes require a certain level of mens rea. Let's talk about murder. If you purposely murder someone, that's murder in the first degree. You're going to jail for a long time. If you knowingly murder somebody, again, high level of murder, going to jail for a long time. If you recklessly or negligently murder somebody, well, at that point, it's manslaughter because it's mostly an accident. You were reckless, you were doing things you shouldn't have been doing, or you're negligent, you were doing, you were not doing things you should have been doing, and it results in someone dying, so you're punished for it. But you're not punished as severely as somebody who knowingly commits a crime. So that's mens rea. Uh, if you have any other ideas of things I can cover, just let me know in the comments. And if I did anything wrong, which I might because I'm a law student, not a lawyer, uh, let me know. So there you are. That's Mansoura.